Okay, just a quick little observation, guys. I, I am not a thus say it's the Lord kind of guy here, but uh, this is just a really interesting observation. I did talk about Flavius Josephus last year. This is, uh, he wrote this, The Antiquities of the Jews. He wrote this right around the time of Jesus. Um, so he was very present in that time. And so at, at that time, he wrote this, In the month of Exethosacus, <laughs> which is by us called Nisan, and is the beginning of our year on the 14th day of the lunar month when the sun is in Aries. So we have all sort of pinned this as we got to wait for the sun being in Aries. But um, here's a thing which may help, but it might also bring a bit of uh, questions. So this is more of an observation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Stellarium. And this is, I just went with zero, like basically right when BC turned to um, AD, right? So the, t the year is zero, zero, and April 1st. I just went with April 1st for now. So at the time of Josephus, the beginning of the year, Nissan, Nissan or Nissan 14 would have been when the sun's in Aries. And so that's all great, right? So now what we're going to do is we're just going to press fast forward and just go super duper fast. And I want to show you how the, the sun shifts. Okay, so here we go. So we're going into the year uh, 100. Oh, let me just do this too. Let me just lock it in here so we don't lose our focus here. And as you can see, the sun is in Aries. But what ends up happening is it starts to shift out of Aries over time. So now we're in 500 AD, and now we are in 800 AD, and now the sun's in Pisces, okay? And that's gonna can just continue to slowly go to the right, essentially, over time, to the point where by our time, 2022, the sun's going to be on the other side of Pisces, more or less, right? So this is what we're dealing with. Let me just adjust this. We're dealing with a shifting situation. And it's just going to continue on. And so my point here is, even though Flavius Josephus said that the beginning of the year is supposed to be in Aries, and that might have been accurate for his generation. Can we apply that for 2022 and so on? So now we're just going, we're just going nuts here. But you can see the pattern here, how the, the sun is shifting and continuing on. So um, I'll leave that with you. Basically, we went from Aries in the time of Jesus to the other side of Pisces over the course of 2000 years essentially so what do we do with this i'm not quite sure what I, I think my final conclusion of this observation this is not a statement but i think my final conclusion is it's possible that the beginning of the year is actually when the sun's supposed to is in pisces just because of the natural shift that we see here so this year and then also the abib star and things like that at the horizon um this year might actually still be accurate. I think maybe that's where I'm leaning towards, but um, I don't know. So I'll leave that with you. You guys think about that, ponder it. If you have any more on this particular subject, let me know. But I think it's just very important for us to understand that the sun has shifted. It shifts every constellation every 2,000 years. So I think that's the, the main point here. So um, yeah, take it easy. Go Jesus, go. And uh, Overall, I think we're, we are in the accurate year because of this shift, okay? Uh, I think the months are accurate, but it's just a thinking thing. All right, take it easy, bye.